Hello everyone, I am BPD and welcome back to some Minecraft Undiscovered. How are you guys doing today? I hope you're all doing fantastic. I'm doing pretty well myself, of course. So there's a couple things I'd like to talk to before I really get into the episode today. First of all, we are on update 2.10.1 and it was a quick update that came out. There were a couple bug fixes, bug, bug fixes, bug fixes, most notably tungsten got fixed with mechanism. So we have 428 tungsten ingots here, plenty of tungsten for the foreseeable future which is awesome. So that's one thing. Another thing, uh, I, in between episodes, I didn't really work on the observatory. I was doing a lot of sigh and stuff like that because I had to end up getting the uh, Psy Metal casting device, the Psy Metal Cat assembly. I made the gold one and it wasn't strong enough. It didn't have enough power to do the greater infusion trick. So I had to go ahead and jump up a step, which was actually pretty time consuming because I had to do Batania and do... Uh, runes and stuff like that and we don't have that great of a Batania set up right now so something I definitely definitely need to improve but yeah so I went ahead and got that um I've done a few other things in between episodes just uh, little things here and there of course nothing really uh, too noticeable I did forget to mention that I did make a builder for the dome here because I could not get this dome right to save my life at all <laughs> just in any way shape or form so I buckled made a builder and uh, it went ahead and made the dome for us. So that was pretty nifty. Uh, voice crack there. <laughs> so that was pretty nifty. And uh, if I ever want a quarry, you know, we have one now. Because all I'd have to do is make a shape card for it. Um, let's see. What else was there? Prep for the episode as well. Oh, and the one last thing that I do want to mention. So the, uh, the Wolframite works in the uh, mechanism setup. However, Cobalt does not. So... I don't know if you guys remember, it. I was looking around for this stuff for the longest time, and uh, I couldn't find it on my cobaltite ore. I put it in here, and it just went through, it went through the mechanism process until the very last one, and it was like the, uh, the tungsten ore. So it went through, purification chamber, right, cobalt clump turns into dirty cobalt dust, and then it gets enriched. And it enriches into nothing. And it actually enriches into nothing. It actually just eats your ore. So, <laughs> don't do that. Now I have to go back and get a bunch of cobaltite ore. Ugh, it was kind of a pain. Oh, you know what? I, I should have thought of this before. And this actually has nothing to do with cobaltite. It has with, to do with what I was doing in between. In between episodes, I went and got a bunch more rock crystals. So, I've got one there. We used quite a bit of them, to be honest. And then I got a bunch of them in here. And I was just thinking I could use the digital miner for that. I wouldn't have had to actually go and, uh, like, because I actually took the wand and did it the old-fashioned way. <laughs> but I didn't actually have to do that. So that's interesting. Anyway, yes, moral of the story, don't put your cobalt in your mechanism stuff. It will eat it. It will eat it so good. <laughs> anyway, what are we doing today? Today I have a couple things that I would like to get into. Uh, uh, this is kind of a spoiler. I would like to get through attunement. The ritual pedestal thing, and I would like to get to the next tier of the celestial altar. So I hope we can get all that done today. Now let's just go ahead and jump right into it. First thing that we're going to be doing is the attunement. So let's go ahead and check that out. I always want to go into any eye, but we don't have to. We need to go to attunement, which means we need to make this guy right here, the attunement altar, which requires three holy wood. So as you can see in my inventory here, I have one living wood twig, which is of course just the forestry, or not forestry, Batania wood that you get from the pure daisy and stuff now we need to make holy wood how do you make holy wood well there's a it's pretty simple actually you got to take this this twig and i've actually already done this and i'll show you in a second you take the twig you put it inside your blood infuser there you go and it turns it into <clears throat> a uh undead sapling right so i did this before like i said because i was thinking about using a tree farm to produce blood but it actually doesn't like the blood that you need to make a sapling, you don't get enough from one tree. So it wouldn't have actually worked out as a uh, positive. <clears throat> there we go. And um, so I ended up not doing it. I ended up going with the, uh, just throwing the thing at the spawner. But anyway, we have to take this guy. And it works just like a regular tree. Of course, I should have got some bone meal. Bone meal. Let's see. How are things going in here wonderfully? Oh, not you. I don't want to take it from you. I want to take it from you. There we go. Look at all that bone meal in there. Look at all that bone meal. will actually take quite a bit of it. Stuck in a tree. There we go. Take this bone meal. We're going to go to our undead sapling over here. And we're just going to bone meal it up. Okay. 
give it some bone meal, boom, we got ourselves an undead tree, right? So we just got to take this undead wood. I should make the next level of uh, axe. I wonder if it has a uh, tree capitator on it. Do you guys know? In the comments, let me know. Does the upgraded Silence Gems axe have tree capitator? Let me know in the comments. Anyway, uh, we have our undead logs, and I have a Batania, like a pure daisy setup here. And I was using it to get more marble because you can turn end stone into marble. So I basically just took the digital miner, took it into the end, and got a bunch of end stone and turn it into marble so we could make all of our stuff. <laughs> but anyway, so we just got to take our undead logs here, place them like so, and they will turn into uh, holy wood. There we go. That didn't take much time at all. Oh, got the last one here. Sting. <laughs> it's lagging a little bit. Let's go ahead and grab this stuff. So this is holy wood, and it doesn't sound like wood when you break it, which is interesting. But it is holy Oh, and that was a quest. Look at us, completing quests without even knowing it. Let's go ahead and check our quest book here. Um, quests, discovering magic. There we go, holy wood. Two holy hand grenades. <laughs> All right, well, that'll be fun to use. Did that, that didn't complete another quest or something, did it? All right, so we have our holy wood. Now we just got to take this stuff. We actually have to make a couple things. I have some glass lenses that I, that I made in between episodes as well, because we're going to need quite a few of those. All right, we need one of these, a spectral relay, right? So let's go ahead and look up spectral relay. And that's one glass lens, one marble, two gold nuggets, and two of any kind of wood. I upgraded the wireless thing so we can access it from here. Look at that. All right, and we're going to need actually 10 of these in total. So let's go ahead and get our gold nuggets. We're going to need... 20 of those we're going to need uh planks we're going to need 20 of these and we're going to need 10 what is it marble marble there we go and 10 of those wonderful all right and then we just put that there that there these two like so and these two like there. All right, and that gets us spectral relays. So we take our little wandy wand here, click, get ourselves spectral relays. Make sure there are no creepers around. I've had a couple creepers blow up on me a couple times <laughs> as I've been here, actually. Okay, so I only made four of them. Let's go ahead and make the last bit of them. Come on. There we go. All right, wonderful. So we have our spectral Relays, 10 spectral relays. Now we take one of those spectral relays and we need two star metal ingots, three holy wood, one dark power gem block, which I actually have on me as well. We need two of these rock crystals. So let's go ahead and grab one more of these guys and two marble. Okay, so we need two star metal, star metal, and oh, just need two of it. And we need two marble, right? So let's grab two of that. Okay, I think that's everything. We got three holy wood, two of these guys, one spectral relay, two crystals, dark power gem block, and a couple marble. Did I remember it? No, I didn't. Dang it. Okay. <laughs> I was thinking I'd remember it first try. Uh Oh, the rocks go up here. Whoops. There we go. So that gets us a uh, attunement dealy, alter whatever it's called. <laughs> oh, look at that. It has a new uh, animation. That's cool. So we got some new particles there, some blue ones. Wonderful. Now we got to take this guy, and I'm actually going to sleep because I know there's going to be a bunch of mobs over there. This thing's huge. This thing is so much bigger than I ever planned for this uh, observatory <laughs> to be. So I'm hoping that we don't have to use it necessarily all the time just some of the time you get a dead bush back by the way when you chop down the uh undead tree that's why this tree farm wouldn't work you don't actually get undead saplings back so you have to keep making new ones anyway <laughs> that was a little uh sidetrack there i'm gonna toss that bone meal as well the holy wood however i will keep all right so we got to go in here and we're gonna grab all this stuff that is for our attunement altar because as you see in the book let's go ahead and go into here Go over. We got to make this big bad boy right here. Right? Oh, what are those on the bottom? It looks like there's nothing there, right? 
That, that is hollow, right? I'm not crazy. I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. I have this like exact, exact numbers. So I hope I did it correctly. But anyway, it's a big boy. Let's go ahead and we're going to run down here. We're going to get rid of you. Get rid of, oh, we're not worried about you. You're not a creeper. And I knew, I just knew there were going to be some creepers down here. All right, that one disappeared. It knew it was coming. The other one disappeared too. It knew it was coming. And we'll get rid of this spider too, just in case it feels like being annoying. So 19 by 19 is what we're doing here. And I believe, let me just make sure here. Yeah, it is the bricks on the outside. So it goes like uh, one, one, two, three. Okay. And then one, two, three, one, two, three. And then it goes down like that, right? And then it goes over. So three, that's six, 13, right? This is four, eight, 11. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. And then it'll go one up, one, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, I think that's accurate. This should be 19. That's 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Perfect. Perfect. Now we just got to do that all the way around. So this is going to be over 1, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then over 1, up, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3 down one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven let's get the rest of them this is gonna go one one two three one two three no that's wrong both of these are wrong no that one's right this one's wrong Ooh, good thing i caught it beforehand this goes over one make sure it lines up okay one two three and then down and then we should just be able to drag this guy over and we should have exactly enough. Look at that. Okay, wonderful. So that's the edges. Now let's, uh, let's grab some regular stone or something. Yeah, some of this stuff is fine. Two, three, four. So we want to grab four of it. Okay, hang on. There's only supposed to be one hole in the center. What did I do incorrectly? goes one two three okay so these are all these need to go in slightly like so right like that and like this is that correct I think that's actually the way it's supposed to go okay so we take this out and we take this out and then like that and like that yeah that's more accurate that is that is the correct way okay got a little bit messed up but at least it wasn't so terribly messed up i had to completely destroy the uh stru <laughs> structure that would have been pretty terrible we just gotta grab these that's a sneaky way too i wouldn't have, i might not have ever known all right so then we just gotta take the four stone and i'm just gonna put it in each corner here okay and go ahead and look at our book then on each one it's one of these guys on the bottom and then it's one of those then two pillars then a chiseled okay so pillars and chiseled but is it three i think it's three pillars then right one two three and a chiseled all right so one one two three and there and we go one, one, two, three, and you, and then one, nope, already got it wrong. One, one, nope, one, two, <laughs> there we go. And then the rest of it, I do believe, is just filled up with this stuff, and that should be easy to do since we have ourselves a builder's wand. And we just blanket this guy with uh, this city marble here. So let's go ahead and pull this all the way down. No, dang it. Dang it. I knew it was going to happen. And that's really hard to see where you messed up. This stuff is dark, man. This stuff is real dark. Okay, so let's just run across here. Make sure we get all of it. Okay. Then 
there, and there you go. One of you goes there. Fantastic. Builders ones are amazing. <laughs> they make this kind of stuff just so easy. So easy. Okay, so that should be all of my sooty marble. Ah, look at that. Look at that. Now we just need to find the center. So three and three. So let's see. One, two, three. That's six. So 13. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, and then, geez, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this should be the center, which is where we will place our attunement altar. Okay, grab up all our torches here. Make sure this seems accurate. Go ahead and go to each edge. Okay, that is not accurate at all. I think it has to go up one more to right there. Okay, it's accurate on that axis. And, oh, yep, and you can even tell, look, it's got particles here. Okay, so this guy, basically it lets you attune stuff, but let's go ahead and wait till nighttime and get, because uh, we can't do anything with it until nighttime anyway. So <laughs> let's go and wait till nighttime so we can get a, a you know, hands-on use of this bad boy. We are back, and it's just about to be nighttime. You can see the moon peeking up over there. So we have our, uh, we're at the constellation board, as I'm going to probably refer to it from now on. I don't remember what it's called. And I made a telescope here, as you can see. I thought you'd be able to just right-click it and use it, but that's not how it works. So I don't exactly know how the telescope works. It says you're supposed to be able to see constellations, but, uh, yeah, I'm not able to, <laughs> I'm not able to do that, but it's probably just too advanced for me. So instead, thankfully, we have some of these constellation papers. Now, constellations can do all kinds of things. They can, like, give you buffs. You can attune them to yourself, to tools, to crystals, other things like that. I don't really fully understand them. Like, I don't know what constellations do what necessarily but i do know a few things about them you need to uh, to tune them you kind of have to set up the constellation here with these spectral relays right but you need like an outline for that and so for that outline you basically have to wait for it to be nighttime and hold one of the constellation papers and if your constellation is in the sky there will be like little blue particles that show up but it doesn't look like our uh any of our constellations are up there at the moment. So we're going to have to wait for them. But that's fine. While we wait, there's actually something that I do want to craft that's probably going to require a decent amount of starlight. And that is our uh, ritual some, 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 some. <laughs> ritual pedestal. That's what it's called. So we need a couple things for that. First, we need a bucket. And we'll go ahead and grab a bucket. And we also need a rock crystal. So let's go ahead and grab one of those. And I have a bunch of starlight over here because I've kind of been amassing it for uh, whatever reason. Just to have, you know, I guess. Probably going to need it for something in the future. I can feel it. I can already feel it in my bones. All right, so it's going to be, uh, how was, what was that recipe like again? So we got chisel. Oh, we need some gold. Let's grab some of that. And there it is. There you are, you slippery, slippery little bugger. Okay, so it goes... In the corner like so, in the corners like so, okay, and then um, you, you, chiseled on top, pillars, and ruined? No, I think it goes like this. There we go. All right, and then we take our wand, give it a little click. Oh, uh, come on. Come on. Oh, these always, the big ones usually take a decent amount of time, <laughs> actually, but it's not too awfully long, thankfully, but we don't get cool particles for this one. Oh, but what is this thing? A flare? Oh, it's a creature. Does it hurt us? Is it give us a buff? Oh, well, I mean, it doesn't seem to bother us. We can let it live. It's so pretty. It's all pink. All right, what do we got going on over here? Plenty of mobs, of course. But that's not really too much of an issue. I would like to see if we can get a constellation going here. No, still nothing, huh? We are back, and I think I finally figured out what my problem was. This has taken 
so much longer than I would have ever thought it did. Look at all these mobs, man. <laughs> so much longer because I kept doing it incorrectly, but I think I finally got it, and I actually need to do it relatively quickly, I think. So I jumped the gun with the telescope over there. What I needed was this looking glass, and basically what you do is you hold it, and you have to look for constellations in the sky and then draw them. I don't know how to draw the lines, though. See, so you just got to scan the sky until you find a constellation. Is that? Okay, there's one. Looks like that is a constellation, but how do I draw it? All right, we got to find it again, and then you sneak, and then you can trace the lines like so. I think, uh, I think I'm doing this incorrectly. <laughs> Uh, let's see, it's one of the ones that we have on paper, so let's go ahead and go into here. Which one does that look like? This one, maybe? Let's go, um, like, here. I'm not going to get this right. <laughs> I'm not going to get this right at all. Uh, like this, and like this. I don't. I don't know. No, nope, that's not right. Goes like that. And then like this and like this, right? There we go. Ha ha ha. Discovered a constellation. Now we should be able to see it in the sky somewhere, but I don't actually see it anywhere. Anyway, let's see if we can't get this uh get this done in the nighttime. So we need the uh what constellation is that? That is Avitas. So let's go ahead and grab Avitas. There we go. Got this guy. We can hold our... Look at all the freaking mobs, man. Holy crap. We are back and it is just starting to be nighttime. And thankfully, you can see we got little particles here for our constellation that we traced out. Oh, man, this is, <laughs> this is taking such a long time. Such a long time. All right, anyway, we got to put these... Uh, these... What are they called? It's been so long. Spectral Relays. Everywhere that we see these blue particles, okay? So one goes here. Okay, we got one that goes right here. All righty. One goes right here. Got one there. Nope. Wrong place. Oh, thank God. <laughs> for some reason, I thought it was gone for a second there. All right, and then we got one here. Okay, and yep, one will go right there. Fantastic. One here, and... This should be the last one we need, right? I think. One, two, three, four. No, we're missing one. Where is the last one? There's one more that's supposed to be here somewhere. Because the constellation is nine. Oh, there it goes. Now it's, now it's going. I can hear it. Okay, yeah. Ha, ha, ha. So, we have this. Now... It tells you what the constellation does once you uncover it in the sky. So let's go and look at Avitas. What this does is it speeds up plant and flower growth. So you can do a couple things. You can attune items to it, like a crystal or something like that. Or you can attune yourself to it. So we're going to go ahead and walk into this right here, like so. And I didn't touch it. This is a cinematic camera that you get from attuning. Oh, that was a little glitch there. Anyway, <laughs> cinematic camera that you get from attuning. And you see we are attuning right now. I hope none of these mobs come and bother us while we're tuning but this looks awesome this looks so awesome the the particle effects and just the visuals of this mod are so incredible i just <laughs> i can't I, I, except for the glitches don't worry about those <laughs> this is weird but i can't stress it enough how awesome this mod looks look at us we're just being radiated with this light energy haha <laughs> it's gonna be great all right, there we go. The uh, ritual is done. It pops you right back out once you're done. Oh, and we got another one of these guys. Look at you. You're awesome. All right, so that's one thing that you can do. Okay, the next thing that we're going to do is we're actually going to do it with a rock crystal here. And I think you just, do you right click it? No, you just throw it on there. And it's now getting attuned. You see particle effects forming on it. And it is accepting the power of the stars. So we just got to wait for this bad boy to be finished. Oh, that looks so cool. <laughs> that looks so cool. Look at this. Jeez. 
such a well done mod so far. I mean, I haven't really played with it a whole lot, but geez, does it look cool. All right, so we have our tuned rock crystal now. You see, we can hold shift. It's tuned to Avatos. Then what we can do with this guy is we can actually throw it onto here, and it's basically like a beacon. I think it might only have temporary uses. Don't quote me on that. I'm not 100% sure. But you see we have regen 2. And it will also increase crop growth and plant growth and stuff like that in the area. And you can attune all kinds of different things. Each constellation has its own, you know, ability. Oh, see we got perks here. You see we got this perk, green thumb. And I guess you can like level it up. Which is cool. So we unlock that. Plants around you grow faster. Animals around you feel the need for replication. So it looks like there's some things that you can unlock. I don't know what this is all about, but that's awesome. And it tells you different perks that you get. But yeah, different constellations have different abilities. And it won't tell you what abilities, what the abilities are until you unlock it, of course. But I think you can just right click. Oh, no, you can't. Shift right click. Hmm. So I'm not exactly sure if you can take this uh, crystal out once you put it into the into the pedestal here. But, <laughs> yeah, because right-clicking and shift-right-clicking and stuff doesn't quite work. But that's still awesome. It's like a, a different beacon. Much easier. Mm, I mean, not maybe not much easier. I don't know. I don't know how early we could have actually done this stuff. <laughs> Probably could have done it a few episodes ago. But it's a nice beacon. It's a good beacon. And it, uh, it does all kinds of things. So, the last thing that we're going to do. I said we weren't going to get into it because this has been running on for quite a while. But we're going to go ahead and try to complete it. We're going to make ourselves the next tier of crafting altar here so we just got to look at what we need for that so let's go ahead and go into attunement here check out this altar we need two crystals a bunch of marble which looks like it can be it can be just regular marble some stardust and a psi gem which i should have everything needed for that in here so two stardust oh i have so much crap in my inventory so much crap. We need Psy Gems. One of those. Um, I need to throw some of this stuff out. I don't want to put it in my Emmy system because I'm very, very particular. <laughs> particular with it. I hope I have enough time before the daytime. Uh, we need marble. We'll just grab a stack of it. And we need a couple rock crystals, which we've got right here. Okay, what was the recipe again? One Psy. Oh, was that living? Oh, that's Hollywood as well. Good thing we made more of that. So let's go ahead and grab... Holy wood. Okay, so we need. Okay, two dust, two rock crystals, one of these, three holy, and four marble. Okay, and then we give it a right click with our little wand here. It does some cool particles. Oh, even more particles than before. We get a nice ring. Oh, and that was fast too. An upgraded altar. Now, this one obviously does not work anymore <laughs> because it needs a new base, which I'm actually not going to do in the episode. This episode has taken so long to actually... Oh, look, we can see our constellation up there. That's cool. This take this episode has taken so long, <laughs> so much longer to record because of my uh, ignorance to the mod. So, unfortunately, that is going to do it for us. We are out of time, but we've gotten some good things done. We've gotten, uh, you know, gone through quite a bit of the uh, astral sorcery. I do have a point I want to get to. I want to be able to make collector crystals. That's kind of where I'm trying to go so that we don't have to rely on nighttime for starlight anymore. Because as far as I understand, once you have collector crystals, you don't need nighttime anymore. So that's kind of what I'm trying to go for. <laughs> so we don't have to keep dealing with these mobs because, man, they are just up. They were a pain trying to do this over there. That peace candle was no help. <laughs> no help at all but anyway thank you guys so much for joining me i hope you enjoyed yourselves i know i definitely did i apologize if this episode seemed kind of scattered hopefully it shouldn't be too awfully bad you know after i edit and edit it and everything but it was uh it, it 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 was all over the place for me because like i said it just took so long so very long <laughs> to record but anyway that's gonna do it thank you guys so much once again and until i see you again have a good one